Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David Rush Channel. Well today I want to break out the old beer bottle to do some solar ignition again. And I want to ignite some of this punk wood that came from a water oak tree. I've noticed that the punk wood that comes from the branches of a water oak, and I guess there's other species too, will ignite easily, but as it gets hotter and hotter, it'll actually pretty much go to flame on its own. And then when you try to blow those flames out, they won't blow out. So, you know, I, I haven't detected other types of punk wood doing that. And I want to try to recreate that for you this morning. Uh, the stove is going to need a little bit of work well, in it. Elevated floor is supported by these four sheet metal screws. And as you can see, I've, this is the original one and I've already replaced that one. But this one keeps breaking out on me. You know, I've noticed that about these stoves. They, uh, since I always turn the opening towards the wind and the flames are always getting fanned on this back wall, this is the side opposite, opposite the feed hole that always wears out and breaks down and rusts up and gets crunchy. Now, Sticks and leaves and oak tree catkins. I'm going to stick it in the stove as usual, leaving a space right here at the feed hole. Because down in here is where I'm going to drop my flaming punk wood. And the flames will have an opportunity to climb up the tender and get air through the feed hole. Let me show you the water oak I'm talking about. And a lot of this punk wood was on the driveway and I took the leaf blower and blew it off over here. But this stuff here, something about the way it degrades, let me get over here in the sun. Something about the way it degrades and turns into punk wood and it has long stringy fibers. And I think there's probably tubes, voids, that run the length of that too, which allows those flames to just be so persistent. You got to see that. Let me get set up and we'll go ahead and do a solar ignition with the beer bottle. All right, always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. This is just a one quart bottle that I found out on the walking trail. It doesn't matter if I turn this label right here towards the sun because we're just using this curve right here and you see the bottle is open here, so it can come come through the water and come out the concave area. And if you don't have patience, uh, feel free to go ahead and fast forward right here. It's gonna take a second for that to get hot enough to where it sort of self ignites to flames.
And then when you try to blow it out, it just keeps reigniting itself. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.